Rivian Automotive is an AV manufacturer which has a first mover advantage in the lucrative pickup truck, SUV and delivery van market. In December I was against buying Rivian stocks because it reminded me of Tilray IPO. Back then a low income but high potential company reached an insane valuation, it was a bubble that then deflated. Now Rivian, a company with a lot of potential but almost no revenue, has also reached an insane valuation after the IPO. The company was extremely unreasonably expensive. Now it is still expensive but the price is much more reasonable. There is a popular opinion that there is no point in investing in the EV sector at all because the companies are too expensive and it will be the most competitive market in the future. There is of course some truth in this, but Rivian's stock may still fall in price and this company is focused on specific electric vehicles, pickups and vans where competition is not yet so strong. Pickup trucks are in demand mainly in rural areas, while vans are in demand for transportation and delivery. Traditional automakers like Volkswagen are very cheap compared to newer electric car companies. And most importantly, they have many years of experience in the business, unlike the new companies. Volkswagen shares are more suitable for a low-risk investor. The new companies, however, have much more growth potential than traditional automakers and they are on a long and difficult way to become profitable. Rivian has a lot of money, but it will probably not be enough, so the company will either have to increase debts or announce new public offerings. Rivian has produced 2,553 EVs in the first quarter of 2022 at its Illinois manufacturing plant and plans to ramp up production for the rest of the year. During the same time period, the EV company said it delivered 1,227 electric vehicles. In 2021, the company produced 1,015 electric vehicles and 920 electric vehicles were delivered. The company has reduced its 2022 production forecast from 50,000 to just 25,000 electric vehicles due to ongoing supply chain issues, semiconductor shortages issues that have been cut in half. Of course, it's bad news for the company component shortages are a significant risk factor for the industry, because any delay gives more time for competitors to bring products to market. However, their order book is growing substantially. The company will receive 1.5 billion in state and local incentives and tax credits for the electric vehicle assembly plant it plans to build in Georgia, the state and company said on Monday. Under the agreement with the state, Rivian has until the end of 2028 to meet the 7,500 jobs target and $5 billion investment target and receive the full amount of incentives and tax savings. The current market capitalization is $28 billion. It's very hard to estimate how much the company should cost but it still seems expensive considering all the risks. It's a quarter of Volkswagen's market capitalization. The company has $18 billion of cash, $1.5 billion debt. If it was a profitable company, I'd say the balance sheet is perfect. But unprofitable companies burn cash very fast. 